Hello drummers, Tim Conley coming at you today, drum teacher and professional drummer. Um, today we're going to talk about developing some speed on the drums and using that speed in some really cool fills. Now, obviously, to, you know, you can't just jump onto the drum kit and have speed. It's a developmental thing. It takes time. Really important to understand to get the free stroke. I have videos on that that you can see and uh, we're not going to get into so much about the technique part of it in this particular video. I'm just going to demonstrate some ideas to get some speed. So what you want to do is you really want to get the stick to do its thing. The stick wants to bounce. The thing that I see in years and years of teaching drums is people fight with the sticks. They fight with the sticks because the sticks want to bounce. You have to let the sticks bounce, okay? Now, one of the things I want to talk about is positioning on the drum. If you put your arm down like this, and you put your arm up, and you're in the German grip position, which means that your hand is over top of the stick like this, you're naturally in that position. All you got to do is put your arm down and put it up, Put the stick in your hand, you're in that position. It's a completely 100% natural position. Ergonomically correct on both sides, there you are. Now, when you're playing, let the sticks bounce. Now you'll notice that I'm moving the sticks partially with bounce and partially with fingers. So I'm using the free stroke and I'm using the Billy Gladstone finger technique and that's how I develop a lot of speed. Now, in getting the sticks to bounce, that's step one. Step two is getting the sticks to move with your fingers. So an exercise for that is the Joe Morello exercise. Accent the downbeat. So beat one, the stick bounces up. And then the next three are Billy Gladstone finger strokes. So you're going, let the stick bounce. Then catch the bounces with the fingers. A little quicker, super relaxed, nice and relaxed, two of them, Now you'll notice that I turned this, which is like a 16th note, into a 32nd note roll. Or you can play them as 8th notes to 16th, like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and Or, like I was just doing, 32nd. Alright, so, you got to practice that on the pad to develop your speed. Now these are all single strokes we're doing today. The other thing you'll notice is the balance of the stroke. One is not doing this. I've got control, or the other side. There's control. Both sticks are the same, so that when I want to add an accent, I can add that accent in as I feel necessary. But you gotta get your sticks to bounce equally. From this, you can develop some speed. Okay? So that's where the speed comes from. You really got to be loose. When guys see guys doing this, I always remember the infamous story that um, Dom Famulero told me about the first time that Neil Peart, and I love Neil, he's my favorite drummer of all time, but Neil's first lesson with Freddie Gruber um, back in the 90s, 
Back in those days, of course, we did not have uh, YouTube and all that. So Neil um, hooked up with Freddy. Originally, he was going to hook up with Dom, but Dom recommended Freddy because they're both in California. And because of Neil's schedule and because of Dom's schedule, they couldn't hook up. So Dom said, go see Freddy. Freddy's the best. So um, Neil contacts Freddy, sends him a tape of him playing a drum solo. And so finally, when the time comes when they meet, uh, uh, I believe the first lesson was actually in Toronto. Strange. It was a 10-hour lesson, if I'm not mistaken, which is insane. I've taken uh, four-hour lessons. I took a four-hour lesson with Dom Famulero, and I've taken uh, two in, a four-hour lesson with Zorro the drummer. Those are my longest lessons. Usually you do hour, maybe two, but four hours is crazy. Ten is insane. Anyways, Neil shows up for the lesson. And they introduce each other, you know, I'm Freddie, I'm Neil, blah, blah, blah. And then Neil says, did you get a chance to watch my uh, tape that I sent you of me playing? And Freddie's response was, well, I started watching it, but your technique was so bad I had to stop. Pardon? <laughs> Neil was there for lessons. Neil was trying to learn about how to be looser and also Neil had a tendency at that time to play with his elbows out and be really tense and he always looked tense he could get what he wanted out but he was always tense and it was causing him injuries that was originally why he went to Dom elbows shoulders tendonitis you name it Neil was starting to develop it Freddie would always talk about the dance and if you watch videos of Neil talking about Freddie you can see that Neil loves Freddie Freddie was an absolute brilliant teacher and I was very, very excited that I was able to take some lessons with Freddie's students. Unfortunately, I never actually got to study with Freddie. Now, I remember meeting Neil and I asked Neil for some lessons and Neil said, I'm not a drum teacher. If you want to go and see a real drum teacher, somebody that can really, really teach, go and see Freddie Gruber. Now, sadly, I never took Neil up on that, and I wish I had, because Freddie was such a legendary teacher, but it was just, I live in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Freddie lived in uh, uh, California, of course, and at that time, there was no Zoom, there was no Skype, etc., etc., so it never happened. But I managed to study with some of Freddie's students, and I learned all about Freddie's technique. And Freddie always talked about the freedom of movement and the dance. And the fact that more happens in the air than happens on the drum. So when, you, when you're trying to go fast, think about it. Look how much time is in the air versus a split second on the drum. Now obviously the faster you go, the less time you're in the air, but you're also the less time on the drum. So think about that in your movement. When you want to go fast, Think about the time that you spend in the air. Thank you very much and we'll see you guys again this is part one part two we're going to take it to the kit awesome see ya